Hello and welcome to this short guide on how to play Nero both safe and stylish at the same time on the Dante Must Die mode. What we're gonna do in this video is establish what I like to refer to as a baseline, which is a standard set of moves that you can use against 70% of the enemies in this game, and it allows you to play both safe and stylish at the same time. So the first part of the baseline is jumping, wire snatching, and jump cancelling, and wire snatching immediately after, like this. And as you can see, it builds height, and it allows us to have the camera only fixated on one enemy. Because if you don't have the camera fixated on enemies in this game, they don't attack you, they just become pacified. Next up, we're just gonna add a slash before the jump cancel, and exceed it, like this. So slash exceed jump cancel wire snatch slash exceed jump cancel wire snatch and staying in the air like this it keeps you safe and it's allowing you to focus on exceeding only and not worrying about other enemies attacking you it's just slash jump cancel wire snatch slash jump cancel wire snatch and uh, between the slash and the um, jump cancel, we're gonna add a special move like the caliber, as you're seeing here, or the pay line that I failed to jump cancel there. Slash move jump cancel wire snatch. Slash move jump cancel wire snatch. Over and over like this, focusing on exceeding the slash. You can also try to exceed the caliber here, but it's it's a bit harder. I'm kind of used to it, so I'm getting a few um, exceeds off the caliber, but uh, just focus on the uh, regular slash. And the moves that I do before the jump cancel, after the slash, is... Caliber, as you've already seen. Pay line that I failed to jump cancel again. Here. Here's the, the jump cancel up the pay line. You have to be uh, positioned towards the enemy for it to work. And the roulette spin. Roulette spin. and shooting and the jump cancelling in between each shot until the charges run out like you're seeing here and you can do this you can stay like this in the air forever until the enemy dies it's very useful against the Antonoras and last but not least the split and and after the split I always shoot so I don't follow the enemy down as you're seeing here uh, and it, it's it, it uh, do, only doing it after the split it allows you to have the charge shot ready so after you uh, shoot the charge shot you wire snatch as you see there sp slash split shoot wire snatch splash split Jump cancel the split, shoot, wire snatch, over and over. And now I'm just gonna let it play out in an actual combo where I combine all the moves. As you're seeing here now. It's just wire snatch, slash, move, jump cancel, wire snatch, over and over. And after the splits, or sometimes after the calibers, when I have a shard shot ready I shoot after the move. So between the move and the wire snatch, I shoot a short shot. As you can see here, I'm, I'm staying in the air. I'm completely safe. Uh, and I can focus on exceeding. When I get the sequence down, uh, slash, move, jump cancel, wire snatch. When I get that sequence down, I can just focus on exceeding. I pretty much, it's pretty much automatic.
Here I'm gonna show uh, how it plays out in an actual fight. The riots are probably one of the toughest enemies on Dante Must Die when they devil trigger to fight on the ground. But you're gonna see here they're not they're not even gonna attack a single time. Because I'm just gonna stay in the air and do the baseline sequence. And I chose this area too because it's pretty tight, but it still works. Uh, they won't do anything at all. He will just juggle one of them in the air with the baseline, and uh, the other one will just stand idle on the ground. As you can see here, it's. I'm doing the sequence I just showed you over and over, focusing on exceeding. Just move, jump, cancel, wire snatch, slash, move, jump, cancel, wire snatch, over and over. And uh, I've already gotten up to a triple S, because I did a decent job with the exceeds. And as you can see here, I, I always shoot after the move and the jump cancel when I have the charge shot ready to maximize maximize style and damage and as you, you can see I tend to shoot after the split the most because of uh, so I don't follow the enemy down because the uh, split compared to the other moves can be a bit input heavy to uh, to jump cancel but just practice it in the void and you will get it down but as you can see I'm keeping the triple S2 here it's gonna net it's gonna net a lot of style points I think I'll get around 6700 from this fight And here the death scissor, they threw in a death scissor here to uh, to screw with the pace, pace a bit, but I'm just doing the same thing on the death scissor. The only difference here on the death scissor is, uh, I know she, after I've done a few moves to her, I know she will counter attack, and then I'll just Gerber away, like you're seeing here now. She counter attacked, and I just Gerber away. And uh, while you do the baseline, you will regain a lot of Devil Trigger. So if you want to speed up the fights when the enemy's Devil Trigger, just uh, initiate your own Devil Trigger to speed the fight up a bit. But as you can see here, they didn't even throw a single attack at me. And I got up to a triple S and 6,736 style points.